Hey, what's happening, guys? <clears throat> Today, I thought we would look at this particular circuit here. I'll give you guys a few seconds to take a look at it. And uh, since you can't read this, this is a 741 op amp. Any idea what's going on here? No? I bet one of you got it. Anyway, this is another type of oscillator. This is a Wien Bridge oscillator. And it is a form of a sine wave generator. Now, let's uh, take a look at a sketch of it here so I can give you guys a little better idea of what's going on. So at the center, we have our 741 op amp. There's our output non-inverting input, inverting input, and we have plus 9 volt and minus 9 volt. Now coming off of the output here, we have a resistor and a capacitor that comes back into our non-inverting output and this provides a feedback loop. Now we are using 121 picofarad and a 10k capacitor. Now this also continues on like this to another resistor and capacitor that are in parallel and they go to ground and this is also a 10k and a 121 picofarad so this is half the circuit let me zoom out here a little bit And if we take this and we look at this section of the circuit here, what we have created is a high pass filter. And then if we look at this section of the circuit, we have created a low pass. But that's not all. We are also coming off of here to another resistor, which ties back to our inverting input. And one more resistor right here that goes to ground. Now these values are critical to make this thing oscillate. This one is 100K, and this is 47K. And then we take our output off of right there. So this is the classic Wienbridge oscillator. Although, in fairness, if it was really the classic, it would have a light bulb in it. The light bulb has to be a tungsten bulb, acted as an automatic gain control circuit and it was excellent it was uh, first done by uh, Bill Hewlett from Hewlett Packard back in the 40s now a couple of key points in order to get this to oscillate we have to have a gain in our amplifier portion right here that is equal to or greater than okay if we don't it won't oscillate and just for those of you who are mathematically inclined the frequency can be figured out by 1 over 2 pi RC alright enough of the math let's bring our circuit back and let's zoom in here nice and tight 
maybe not that tight and take a look at what's going on so this is our 741 I'm nice and focused here pin 1 pin 8 okay we have our V minus on pin 4 our V plus on pin 7 pin 1 pin 5 or pin 8 pin 5 and pin 1 are not connected so we have our output with the 10k resistor coming back over here and that is our first part of the circuit oh I'm sorry this is our 100k blah, blah, blah. our 100k comes back over here to pin 2 which is the inverting part of the circuit and then it goes through this potentiometer which I've only connected two legs of see that's not connected and I have it tuned exactly to 47k so that is our inverting feedback loop. Now we also come out of here to the 10K into the first 121 puff capacitor, then down to these two, which are parallel coming off of this, and they both go to ground. So let's zoom out here a little bit. Now, since we're using the 741 op amp, it is a split power supply. And I am using a couple of 9 volt batteries to power it. So there we are, we are powered up. Let's get a scope probe on here. Connect our ground down here to the ground area. And then up here, now we're all nice and connected. And let's swing up and have a look at the scope. Let's zoom in here. All right, turn this off. Now we have a good picture of the sine wave that's being output. And that is a pretty nice looking wave there. You can see we are at 500 millivolts per division. So we are looking at about one volt peak to peak, right? No, two volts peak to peak, because that's one volt, that's two volts. And our frequency is hovering right around 86 kilohertz with a period of 11.7 microseconds. And you can see that is a very nice sine wave. Let's zoom in here as much as we can. And there might just be the slightest hint of clipping on the top there you see that when we zoom out it becomes a little bit more apparent just just, just a hair of clipping right there all right now where did I put my screwdriver so that I can show you what happens if we don't have that thing tuned one moment please all right sorry about that it had fallen under the desk so if I detune what happens here? Well, you can see we've lost any semblance of this being a square wave. And the more I detune it, the more unstable it gets until it reaches the point where it no longer oscillates. So if I bring that back,
and there you go we're right back where we came from or rather close to it you see our our frequency has fallen off there a little bit and that's because I don't have that tuned right back exactly there are frequencies climbing back up now but that's it that is the Wien bridge oscillator a very simple sine wave generator I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up comment share don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you next time you're still here oh you like the sine waves all right well how about this then there is the Fourier transform of the Wien Bridge. Don't tell anybody I showed you this.